Executive producer Justin Miller went down to Orlando Universal Resort to face the fear of Halloween Horror Nights. Take a look at one of the most popular houses, the Stranger Things. Sure like I'm at Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Orlando Resort, and we are in Vecna's Mine Layer, and I've got Matt Flood with us to tell us all about this amazing house. I know a lot of people are excited about this. Thank you for allowing me to come in here. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I, <laughs> I see some things, but I think Vecna's not here, so yeah. we're good. We're good. As far as people being excited, yeah, yeah. I'm one of those people who's oh, very yeah, yeah, excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stranger Things Four uh, happens to be my favorite season. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things in general, uh, but just an honor to get to work on this season. Netflix was a great partner, uh, but just to geek out a little bit. I mean, Stranger Things Four, such a good season. It brought this level of horror, this level of you feel the terror of what is happening, this curse of Vecna that's coming onto Hawkins, you know? And this house, we really wanted to give people that immersive experience to where the season made us feel a certain way and it brought that horror, it brought that fear of what was coming. So we wanted the guests to feel that, to feel like they were walking through that same type of build towards this final moment of realizing how powerful this character and is and realizing what this curse really is yeah. and so this house takes you on that journey I mean I, it is pretty cool because I mean of course I've watched the season I'm gonna go back and rewatch it after <laughs> seeing that I mean it's amazing yeah I mean the people have like set tours and stuff like that and it's actually kind of cool because you get to walk around and you feel like you're on the set of Stranger yeah. Things I mean you're you're immersing yourself in the season. So, they, I mean, it's, you did a really good job. Well, thank you very much. No, and it's an incredible team. Hundreds of people come together to make this happen. And you know, like you said, this is not the only awe-inspiring scene. This is one that I think is a big deal in the season, you know, plot-wise, when you're talking about how the story develops. This is a massive moment when Max, Max finds herself in Vecna's mind lair. So it is, a really cool moment that we wanted to show off a little bit for you all, you know, get people excited, mm -hmm. but I'm excited and I hope you, <laughs> I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I do. Yeah, I mean, this is amazing. So what are some of the other scenes that we, you'll be walking through, through this, uh, through this house? Well, again, building that idea of Vecna's curse, starting with episode one, we see Chrissy's kill. And that launches us into, you know, that's how the, the season was built that way to where you feel this, she gets, Chrissy gets killed in episode one, and then in episode two, it's Fred, and then we're moving through, and we see it happening to Max, and as that builds, that's the type of stuff we're gonna be showing people. And yes, we are introducing people to Vecna, and yes, Vecna's gonna be coming after you. And so, you know, moments in the Upside Down, we have moments here, of course, and then take you into Hawkins, we're, we're seeing all the stuff. I mean, that's amazing to just be able to walk through episode to episode. I mean, my gosh, that's amazing. Well. <laughs> You know, I really appreciate it. I, I'm going to get out of here before Vecna comes and starts kind of controlling us. I hate to tell you, no, I don't. Vecna is here. Don't, don't say Right, that. well, I, you know, that's what we do. It's Halloween horror Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, Vecna I is All right. Uh, yeah, I'm getting out of here before he starts controlling. I'm out.